Even the most ardent NASA has to admit that the Mars surface is a fairly dry topic. What if we told you that NASA's new Perseverance rover has already made jaw-dropping discoveries about a harbor seal, the Wright Brothers airplane, and the benefits of strict personal hygiene? Join us today on Tecmo as we demonstrate how much this dead planet rocks and learn about what has been discovered so far on Mars. Before we continue, kindly hit the notification button to be notified when next I post new videos. Let's get started without further ado. The goal of NASA's Mars 2020 mission is to look for signs of microbial life that scientists believe could have existed 3 billion years ago when conditions on Mars were likely very similar to those on Earth. If the mission is successful, the technical knowledge gained will pave the way for future manned missions to Mars. The rover has been on the surface for less than 100 days, and the time of writing, nonetheless, a great deal has been discovered. For one thing, crucial proof of concept data was gathered during the landing process. The mission's all-new terrain relative navigation system used cutting-edge onboard mapping and data from the craft's onboard cameras to pinpoint the Perseverance landing zone to within a few meters. It was no small feat. Considering that even a minor overshoot would have landed the rover in trouble weeks away from its destination and this information will be extremely useful in future missions. During the entry and landing, three types of sensors, thermocouples, heat flux sensors and pressure transducers were used to collect data on temperature and outside pressure before and after the iconic parachute was deployed. One potentially significant finding was that every single thermocouple made it through the landing unscathed implying that heat shield damage was minimal. Because the thermocouples aren't mission critical, future landers may be able to get away with thinner heat shields, saving valuable weight. Perseverance was safely deposited on the Mars surface and has since been blasting rocks with its awesome space laser. Just like we would if we were in its position. You may have noticed that the rover's new Jezero crater home is studded with light-colored rocks, peering out from the landscape of russet-colored soil in photos returned from Mars. The Perseverance Supercam, arguably the coolest man-made device ever sent into space, has singled out some of those rocks for special attention. Supercam approaches its target stone and fires a tiny pinpoint laser that can be precisely up to 7 meters away. When the powerful beam strikes the rock, it creates a brief cloud of plasma made up of free-floating ions and electrons. Perseverance's onboard spectrograph can read this brief plasma signature and determine the rock's chemical composition. Mars and Yego are two particular rocks that scientists have identified as deserving of the Supercam treatment. By the way, they're not words from the Navajo dialect, coined by Aaron Yazi, a NASA engineer and proud member of the Navajo nation. Mars, which means Mars, and Yego, which means diligent, are both basalt-like in composition. So they are ingenious, as in they came from a volcano. But more importantly, they appear to have been shaped into their current shape in a long-ago watery environment. If proof were needed that Mars wasn't always such a dry subject, here it is. The Harbor Seal is another notable rock that Perseverance has explored. NASA believes that the natural erosion of powerful northwesterly winds sculpted it into a sinuous likeness of the playful marine carnivore. This finding backs up previous weather predictions for the Mars atmosphere. For researchers, this is a valid and useful data point in addition to being adorably adorable. Perseverance receives visual clues for the mineral composition of rocks from Supercam's Super Duper Laser. The zapping sci-fi laser sounds also provide sonic clues to the composition of stones indeed. Thanks to Perseverance's onboard battery of microphones, one of the most groundbreaking aspects of this mission thus far has been the ability for anyone on Earth to listen in on the Mars soundscape. A soundtrack of the rover's heavy metal wheels clanging and banging across the hard rocking Mars terrain has also been released on NASA SoundCloud. In addition to the pew pew of the laser, not to mention the eerie ambient susurration of extraterrestrial winds which can be heard online by anyone who wants to listen. It's almost magical. Perseverance's marvelous MOXIE unit has performed nothing short of alchemy in converting base CO2 into life-giving oxygen. MOXIE is a gold-plated gizmo about the size of a car battery that stands for Mars Oxygen in Situ Resource Utilization Experiment. It works by diffusing CO2 from the atmosphere through a non-porous Yttria Stabilized Zirconia or YSZ disc sandwiched between two porous electrodes. It also produces a modest but historic 5 grams of oxygen and this equates 
to approximately 10 minutes of breathable air. Moxie isn't just the first instrument to produce oxygen on another planet, paving the way for humanity to colonize space. It's also the first of its kind, allowing future missions to live off the land, utilizing elements of another world's environment as fuel. This is referred to as in situ resource utilization by fancy engineers, that is, local CO2 is used to make oxygen, which is then used to make rocket propellant, and that is much more difficult as a task than simply breathing air. A future mission would require approximately 15,000 pounds, or 7 metric tons of rocket fuel and 25 metric tons of oxygen to launch, say, 4 astronauts off the Mars surface. That's far too much to transport from Earth. Those four astronauts, on the other hand, would only require about one metric ton of oxygen to breathe, and MOXIE has shown that it can be done, at least by a larger descendant unit. The successful deployment of NASA's $80 million Ingenuity helicopter is, of course, the most eye-catching feature of this mission thus far. If you think Ginny is cute, wait till you hear what she's called. Perseverance is known as Percy, and it was only a few months ago that this tiny chopper cemented its place in history by making the first power flight on another planet. It's a miracle it made it through the journey at all. Even if Ingenuity had crashed after the first flight, we would still have achieved a couple of significant milestones. A NASA technician told Reddit users, surviving launch, charging while en route, entering, descending and landing, deploying from the rover and surviving the frigid Martian nights aren't an easy task. Making an airworthy vehicle small enough to bestow on an interplanetary rover is an incredible achievement, and it paves the way for future missions to explore areas where rovers aren't allowed. Engineers are currently collecting data from this one-of-a-kind thin air copter to use in the design of smart micro-drones, or drones that fly at a high altitude, for applications on the ground. The solar panels mounted near Ginny's rotor blades were one particularly striking scientific observation. Engineers spent a long time trying to figure out if there was any way to prevent the panels from attracting and losing power due to the inevitable coating of Mars dust. Various solutions such as mini windscreen wipers were proposed and rejected due to their added complexity and weight. When the dual rotors started spinning, however, technicians noticed Ginny's solar output increased by a couple of percentage points. Engineers theorized that this is because the blade's airflow self-cleaned Ginny's dusty solar panels, even on Mars cleanliness, is important. Ginny is also transporting a unique payload, a square of fabric the size of a postage stamp that was once part of the Wright Brothers' historic 1903 flying plane, was carefully attached to the craft as a tribute to the true aviation logs. Now it's still up there. And that's all for today, folks. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so you can never miss another amazing video from us. Until next time.